So here's another Cinemasker mailbag. This one is going to be dedicated to funny messages. So sometimes you get um, rather strange or humorous. Sometimes you're not sure if it's meant to be humorous or not um, because it's email. So who knows, really? But let's check it out. All right, this one just says, I guess I wouldn't do that. I guess I wouldn't do that. There's no context or anything. That's all it says. This one says, hey, nerd. Ask the big rigs trucking asshole guy who might know something about working with tools outside the game den. Why is the cutting chain on the wrong fucking way on the Cinemassacre logo? Sure, an old school film camera might make an awesome chainsaw handle. But if you put the chain on backwards and expect the back of the cutter to massacre anything, you're fucked. <laughs> a big fan. <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. So apparently the chain on the Cinemassacre chainsaw is backwards. Yeah, I mean, it's also a chainsaw on a fucking camera, so. I wish you well at the time of writing this email. I'm a longtime AVGN fan since the beginning. I'll be short and direct since you're busy. Would you please rethink how you portray Satan in future videos? Specifically the red version of Satan. This is a lie and not how he actually looks. This goes for demons as well. And they're not monsters as they are portrayed. It is offensive to many others, including myself. Obviously, I am aware of the game and previous episode usage. I'm not requesting you to change that. And I wouldn't even mind if you have, have to show how Satan was portrayed in games for the sake of reviews. You have free will, and I wish not to stifle your freedom of expression and speech. So if you choose to continue this depiction, I will be understanding of this. This is a simple. Uh, hum this is simply a humble request from many fans, including myself. If you need references or art on accurate depictions of Satan and his demons, I'm happy to provide this. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. I don't know what to think. I don't know, know to be terrified of this email, <laughs> or it's very kindly written. It's that's what's ah accurate depictions of Satan. Surprise mother shitter. I laughed so hard at your NES accessories episode that I unintentionally put my 28.8k modem up my ass and it was slow as shit. After five seconds, I had to take a shit and I accidentally shat on my fucking modem. So now I have no internet to watch anime Minecraft videos on my VCR on my internet computer in my fucking dick and have to buy a new cheeseburger to watch the clouds because I have no roof because I puked backwards up my di my dick diarrhea butt whole ass burger from Macintosh Donald's so new I have to take shits on other people because I want the st streets to be clean but the people that shit on other people suck fucking ass so I want to kill oh god all right, this one just says, James, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And then there it is, just just like in The Shining. Okay. James, James, I was driving on the wrong side of the fucking road. James, James, hey, James, 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 James. I was driving home from the Irish pub in Center City, and someone kept on honking their horn at me, and I rolled my car window down. This guy said to me, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. And I said, shut up, motherfucker, prick, James. As I kept on driving, I quickly found out, oh, shit, fuck, mommy, I was driving on the wrong side of the road. End of story. Well, thanks for sharing. And the subject is, dog fucked me so hard my nipples popped off. Salutations, as you can see, I'm a bit of a pickle. I am now starting at two rounded pink mounts. <laughs> I don't need to read it, the, the subject. Oh, my God. Oh. I haven't had the time to get properly inebriated due to family commitments. Um, wow. I haven't had the time to get properly inebriated. What, like, that's a that's a goal? I had recently heard of a method called getting ass blast that you bend over and pour your alcoholic beverage of choice into your rectum and send it straight into the digestive tract. Minimum. Because drinking it the usual way is, is, is not fast enough. Oh my God. He's actually getting to the point here. So, okay. So we did this, uh, 
I instantly felt the rush of intoxication proceeded to enjoy one of your many episodes. Great. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't notice my great day in the room and failed to realize my drink was a peanut butter sh schnapps. The rest is history. My wife walked in during the horrific accident. Now I'm worried of what she must think of me. Please help. My wife just informed me that she's leaving me for the dog and wants one of the nipples in the divorce. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, first tattoo. You got to be kidding me. Got a tattoo on his chest of LJN. I hope that's not real. Oh, my God. All right, this one says, Genesis does what Nintendo don't. You're welcome, nerd. Um, he just sends a picture of a Sega CD with a Genesis on top with a 32X, a power base converter, cleaning card, X-Band modem, Sonic and Knuckles, Game Genie, Action Replay Pro, Honeybee converter, and Bubsy. That is one impressive Sega stack. Hi, James. Longtime fan from here in Scotland. Was at work today scrolling through my phone's homepage is when I noticed this. Wow. So not only does your head fit right over Marty's, but you are pulling the same face as Doc Brown. This was a total accident, but now I'm going to set up all my backgrounds to feature your head posted on another body. Wow. Very strange. Oh, fuck skeletons. Goddamn, they're everywhere. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck skeletons. The magazine for people being pursued by skeletons. I don't know where this came from, but... That's pretty funny. Question about shit. Hey, James, I'm one of the biggest fans of the nerd. I've noticed how you very often shit on things in the videos, and that just leaves me wondering, how can you keep the shit in for so long? What do you eat the day before to extend the amount of shit? <laughs> to extend the amount? And how many times must you retake the scenes before you shit perfectly? <laughs> Note, if this is too vulgar, please replace the word shit with me. <laughs> the ending is the best. Oh, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Please replace the word shit with feces. Oh. Yes, I was very offended by the word shit. <laughs> I will I will re-edit the email so that it complies with <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh, Rob the Robot. Hi, James. I think probably the funniest joke you did in AV Gen is when you made a gyro for Rob the Robot. That is so funny for so many different reasons. One, why would anyone ask for a gyro at someone's house, actually expecting someone would have in their kitchen such obscure ingredients like lamb meat and sake sauce? Um, why would Number two, why would someone, Rob, be so arrogant to ask for such a specific f food item like a gyro? Wouldn't a person ask a more general question like, hey, man, you got anything to eat here? <laughs> Number three, how is a robot going to eat food anyway? Number four, it's just so funny how you took the time to film you making the gyro. It's so drawn out, which adds to the humor. You even wrap tinfoil around it to make it like <laughs> how they make it if you buy it out so <laughs> It's so funny how the nerd didn't first explicitly clarify with Rob by saying, hey, you are talking about the Greek sandwich called a gyro, aren't you? I guess I would call that miscommunication humor, which is really funny. They did miscommunication humor like that a lot on Three's Company. I actually felt bad for the nerd watching him go through all that trouble to make a gyro. Well, that's funny. I mean, sometimes explaining the joke so thoroughly uh, renews the humor and... and you know, a new way. It's it, it that just really made me laugh because I'm I'm glad you found that part funny. Um, you know, I don't overthink it when I do it, but when I hear someone explain it back to me, that just uh, it, it gives me a laugh in return. A cow fun fact. Hey James, did you know that the taste buds on a cow's tongue are so tiny they can be used to brush the hair on an ant's ass? <laughs> Okay, this person wrote, makes sense to me. 
and he just uh, sent me this image. I have no idea where it came from. Goats are like mushrooms. If you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. Weird. Cry laughed is the subject. Oh, James, I forgot. Live like a wind rammer as you fuck. Quotes. He's quoting a, an older uh, mailbag video. Um, I cried as I laughed so hard at that email and my stomach hurts so bad. Whoever wrote that email is a god of furious strong. Don't take a shit if you don't have to. Quotes. Those are fucking words to live by if I ever heard any. Thanks for sharing that one with us. God damn. Yeah, that message has gotten so much traction. I'm surprised that after so many years, um, even to this day, people still say to me, live like a wind rammer as you fuck. Remember the last conventions I've went to, um, it's typical for that to come up at least once. Sometimes people would give me a shirt with it printed on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but that, that email, um, that that guy wrote way back, like it, it caught on. I mean, I, I haven't read it in a long time, but I feel like it might be necessary just to look at it one more time and see if it still holds up. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. That was going back uh, many, many years of uh, funny and ridiculous messages that I've gotten. Uh, so um, yeah, this was many years in the making. Um, this was just a one-off thing. I don't plan to do this anymore for a while. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Oh, and here is the original Windrammer email. Let's just, there's nothing I could do better now. Let's just check out the old playback of me reading it. Hello to James and Mike. Hellos, I a big fan of anger, also fan of Son of Destroy, just like you, Mr. James Roof. Also, I like Mike Matinee, Matinee, yeah, um, who do stuff with you on games. I like Hangbang game is good, and also I like fight. I teach, talk, and tell of a fight at my blog. You see it here? It's good to talk to you because you strong a fight. Say fucks and do good with strongs. Don't even take a shit if you don't have to. <laughs> don't even take a shit if you don't have to. Uh, Sometimes if people take shit cause to be friend with you, I don't like that. I like fight hard style, and so I like you. Any kid I see, I tell, no, no, don't take a shits for anyone. Only give shits and see futures in... <laughs> Ma, all the guys... Ma, all the gods of Furious Strong be with you as you crunch op opponents, I guess, and live. eyes are tearing up. Oh, well, I can't even read the last part. I can't even read the last part out loud. <laughs> Live like a wind rammer as you fuck. <laughs> I need a t-shirt of that. <laughs> it's the greatest, that is the greatest fucking quote I've ever read. <laughs> Live like a wind rammer as you fuck. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All oh, the pains in my stomach. Oh, live like a wind rammer as you fuck. Oh, 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 good Lord. Oh, I'm fucking dying. Oh, oh, my fucking God. 
Oh my god. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay.